Hey there everyone, welcome back. Right now what we are going to be doing is we are going to be looking at how to create a pie graph. Now, you should currently be on slide 9, 10, or 11. All three of them are going to end up using pie graphs. Your pie graphs that you are going to be creating are going to be based on your slide 8 and your class data interpretation. What were the three things that seem to be the three things that all plants over 10 centimeters tall, what traits were they that were so common in all plants over 10 centimeters tall? So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create this slide today and I'm gonna be making it based on the uh, date of the first leaf. I'm just, we'll say that that's one of the big things, right? So control X, control V. I now have it up there. I'm going to put in my title, date of first leaf. And again, I'm going to make that a little bit larger. Let's make that big. Let's make that 48. Why not? We can. Now I'm just going to end up deleting all this stuff because I don't need any more of this stuff right here. I have to have a percentage for each slice. It's going to end up coming up on mine. The only other thing that I have to remember to do is to create a sentence that will end up describing the results of my graph. That's going to be real important that you do that. It's worth a couple of points. So now how do we end up creating that pie graph? Very similar to the same way we ended up creating the quadruple line graph. First thing that you need to do, again, open up your fast plant folder. Make sure that uh, you're in that when you go to create your spreadsheet. Go to spreadsheet, create and share, all right? Again, we're talking about the fast, or we're talking about the date of the first leaf with our fast plants here. So when I end up doing that, it's going to end up looking like this. I'm going to put day in column one, or in row one. I'm going to put a number of plants. So the total number of plants you have in your class, we're going to look at how many plants um, ended up having their day of the first leaf within these parameters. I'm going to put the parameters right here before day five day five or six, day seven or eight, after day eight, when did your plant um, or your plants end up having their first leaf? So I made up some data here. So let's say that before day five, six plants within the class ended up having their first leaf before day five. 28 people had their first leaf between day five or day six. Three groups had plants, or I should say three plants had their first leaves between day seven or day eight. And five plants had their first leaf after day eight. I put that information in. I'm now going to highlight it. Insert, chart. Once I end up getting to chart right here, I just have to go to charts. I'm going to go to pie, and I'm gonna end up choosing this pie graph right here. I want this one. Man, I've already got right here percentages for each one of these things. They've already given me um, a uh, legend for this, so I've got that. I'm gonna hit insert. Now that it's been inserted, I wanna come back up here. I'm gonna click, and then I'm going to hit quick edit mode here. Click on my chart title. This is going to be the date of the first leaf. Press enter to apply. I've entered it, it is now applied. Now, what I need to do is go to here, Go to copy chart. It's been copied. Now I just have to put it into my presentation. I can right click, I can hit control V. Either way, it's now going to be placed in there. Now all I have to do is just create my sentence that will end up telling me a little something um, about my pie chart. So one sentence that would end up relating to my pie chart, move my pie chart down my pie chart shows that that uh, I'm gonna go back I'm gonna just rethink this my pie chart ends up showing that 52.4 percent more plants had their date of the first leaf on days 
five or six, then before day five, period. Wow, I just created this entire chart and it took me no more. I created this entire uh, graph, this entire thing. Um, and it took me no more than about five minutes to be able to do that. I'm actually going to move this down to the bottom. I want to move this up a little bit. I'm going to move this up. And it's just more or less for the cosmetics of it so that it looks a little bit better. I can make this a little bit bigger um, so that it's a little bit easier to see. I'm going to move this information up a little bit. All right. Now I've got my graph right where I need it to be. All right. And it looks fabulous. All right. Um, Move that up a little bit there it goes I now have this particular one done you can end up creating your other